<laughs> oh, there he is. Look who we got. There he is. Oh. <laughs> Rabbit. Let's see you, boy. Ladies, uh, you got to put your hand in a ponytail. Oh, you got to put it in the bun. Oh, yeah. What up, though? What's good? Janoris Jenkins of the New Orleans Saints kindly joining us here on the Belegian and Bell Show, Woodward Sports. Uh, first of all, Janoris, appreciate you taking the time, man. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. How y'all doing? Fantastic. You know, th this is interesting because I was talking to uh, your boy Joyke about this. You know, sometimes we in the media are fans. You know, we, we think it's it's a totally different scenario in a playoff week. But Joyke was telling me it's business as usual. We all know what's at stake. It's just a regular business week. How's that been for you? Uh, man, it's been good. I've uh, been taking care of my body, um, relaxing, getting off my feet, you know, just watching film. Um, you watching. know what time it is. It's go time, man. Everybody got to turn it up a notch and it's a ball. Hey, hey, Rabbit, um, I want to talk. Before you, hold on. Let me get my okay, question. Go ahead. I told go you, ahead. relax. Uh, relax. I'm, this ain't my show, you're, so go ahead. All right, relax. Real quick, uh, right. so we're, I was talking. I was talking to Sean real quick, and uh, we're trying to think yeah. of how you came up with the name Jack Rabbit. Now I, ha I heard a couple of rumors. Um, <clears throat> he said he think because you're kind of fast. I I call when that you got the name Jack Rabbit, but everybody calls you Rabbit because you used to chase rabbits during for your training. Is that true? No, nah, that's actually not true. Um, I was in college. Uh, I went to college early. Florida. So I left school, you. high school in like January. And, um, you know, I ain't, I ain't know no plays, so I'm playing spring ball. Um, I ain't know no plays. My coach just threw me out there. And I was like making plays. I had like probably like four interceptions, um, spring ball. And then um, one day we get in the film room, we watch a film, and he's just like, man, you moving quick, you moving fast. Moving like a little jet rabbit, but I ain't know what I was doing at the time. You know, what I'm saying? I was just playing off <laughs> spine ball, two ball, get ball. I ain't know. I ain't, I really didn't know understand cover two. I was just out there just playing, but I was playing fast, and I was just making plays. And we got in the film, like I said, he told me, and one day he just said, "Boy, you moving like a jet rabbit." And after that, I just ran with it. You ran with it, huh? <laughs> he did. Yeah, but we, so do, chase, we do chase rabbits from the muck, though. Okay. Hey, Rabbit, I want to talk about um, the first team you ever played for. And the first team Rabbit ever played for was the Saints. Um, he wore number 57. He was a linebacker <laughs> and a running back. <laughs> and now he finds himself on the New Orleans Saints, where Ricky Jackson, yeah. you know, played for the Saints. And all goes right. circle. What do you think about that, Rabbit? <laughs> That's crazy. Because I actually wore number 57, wore number 57 because of Ricky Jackson. Um, it was like Pop Warner, bro. I was like eight, my, about seven, like seven years old, 57. I had 57. I played O-line, linebacker, and I was about to just smash it. Like, just, I thought I was Ricky Jackson. You feel me? And oh, that's great. Just to be able to real, just bud. say I For made real. it and be with the Saints, man, it's, it's a blessing. For sure, for sure. Now, let me tell you a little bit about Pahokee. This is a, a, a town that's um, in the middle of Florida down. Tell them about the um, name off some of these. Let me name some of these players that come out of this <laughs> small town. You're Anquan Bolden, Parnell McPhee, Antoine Smith, Alfonso Smith, Bill Bentley, Richard Ash, and the Rabbit. He's the king of, of, of the muck. Damn. He's okay. the king of the muck. What they got in the water down there, Janoris? You say what? what? <laughs> Something in the air, he says. Something in the air down there. <laughs> Is that what they have oh, in the water? I don't know. Alligator hey, Rabbit. So, turtle. um, last year, last year you um came on the Saints towards the end of the year, and you came in, played well, um, played good in your first uh, playoff game, forced fumble. Um, this year you're able to go to you know a little bit of camp with COVID. You've been with the team the whole year. You guys seem like you're um, gelling a lot better this year. What's the difference between last year coming on the team towards the end of the year compared to being with the team the whole year? Uh, just more, just more time with each other. Um, just being around each other, getting to know each other, and just a vibe, man. You know, whenever we can, due to the situation. Um, 
and just learning each other, man. Learning how how each other play, and just being together for a long time. You know, um, it's all about bonding. I feel like we've been bonding very well um, all through the season. Um, we're just gonna continue to bond and play ball. You can tip. You can tell that they're playing at a higher level. I mean, you guys are ranked number four defense in the NFL. Um, and I tell everybody it's about the culture, it's about that team camaraderie. Um, and it was a, I think you build that brotherhood, right? And so back in yeah. um, the early ages, when they used to go to war, they used to try to put brothers or uncles and father and son together because they felt like they fought harder that way. And so when you build that camaraderie right. and you guys build that brotherhood, they, they they play they play for their brother they you know when somebody get hit a late hit you know he doesn't have to get back up because one of his teammates is already in the guy's face you know defending his teammate and uh, they can tell like when you guys are playing the way you guys are playing uh, I, that's the type of ball I love to see like um, yeah somebody man. get tackled of course man you know, we we pick them up <clears throat> yeah well we, we watched football fun. this year yeah, we saw that we we saw how the guy got um. Um, spat on it in a game, and then you see if you're friends with Rabbit, you know you're going to be safe anywhere you go with him because you saw my boy jump on his back and just give him a, basically the rattlesnake. That was right. And give him a goddamn rattlesnake. You know, uh, that's yeah. just how it goes. So we always know we safe when Rabbit's with us for sure. <laughs> Hey, Janoris, talk to For me real. about Sean Payton. You and Joyke have something in common. You both you both had an opportunity to to you know work under Sean Payton. This is a guy, he waited his turn. He was the hot name, and now he's been there, had a lot of success. What sets Sean Payton apart? <clears throat> Man, one of the best coaches I ever played for. Um, just far as just understanding players, you know what I'm saying? Being a coach's player. To where you know you guys can be who they want to be have fun it's all about business but make sure you're having fun and i think coach payton he understands that as a coach and i think that's why a lot of guys that come through here that they really making us dizzy as shit. understands <laughs> being a player <laughs> hold that damn phone straight <laughs> don't move that phone rabbit jesus <laughs> christ <laughs> The hell are you trying to do, my man? Bad, man. My bad, he said he feel like he watching Blair Witch Project. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Denar's real quick. Yeah. <laughs> hey, real quick, bro. Um, Sean asked me earlier, like when we went to the playoffs, we kept it like the same schedule. We didn't really switch off. Do you guys make changes when you guys go in the, uh, go in the playoff mode? Do you guys change the schedule? Do you guys keep the same schedule, um, just like the regular season, uh, doing everything you? I guess you guys did during the season. You doing that in the playoffs as well. Yeah, you keep the same schedule, man. Coach Payton understands. He knows. He keep the same schedule and just let, let us go out and ball. For sure. Yeah, again, today, Tuesday's their day off. So, Rabbit, we talk, you know, just as boys all the time, and we always talk about how the Pro Bowl and stuff is sometimes a popularity contest, and you always kind of stick to yourself and, you know, have a small circle. But I always joke with you of – you know, the league is showing that you're a pro bowler by the cash they paid my boy. <laughs> that big cash they paid my boy. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, at the man. end of the day, you know, just working so hard, coming from nothing, coming from the muck, seeing your family, seeing your friends, being able to put your family, your babies, your children, Gina, um, mom, dad, in a situation where everyone feels safe. Kind of tell me, you know, how, how, that, how that feels to you as a human, as a man, as, you know, a son, as, you know, a leader of your family. Oh, man, it, it feels special, man. Um, just getting to this point, um, knowing that I'm mature as a as from a young man to a grown man, um, knowing that I was raised right, knowing you know everybody make mistakes, get over the hump. Um, but at the end of the day, you got to be a leader. You got to lead your kids. You got to lead your family. And uh, most important of all, you got to give it all thanks to God. And um, I'm happy. I'm excited. Just got to keep going. Sure. Hey, Janoris, I got to ask you, you know, uh, we have a rookie cornerback here out of Ohio State. I know you're busy during the year, probably haven't had a chance to see him, but Jeff Okuda, highly touted. 
you're a guy that came into the league. Everybody knew who you were, knew your story, knew what you could do. How difficult of a position is that to play? You know, you often hear people say, man, you're on an island a- as a rookie. Uh, to people out there that are already sitting there trying to diss a Cuda or diss a young cornerback, talk about that transition from college ball to the NFL at cornerback. Oh, man, it just, at the end of the day, I look at it as football is just football. Um, mm. Just do what you do. Um, you don't have to change. Just come in, do what you do, and um, everything will take care of itself. Uh, the way you prepare, just prepare how you always prepare. Um, and just go have fun, man. Like People try to make football as if it's so hard when you're coming into the league. But at the end of the day, you've been doing this for your whole life. Just come in and just understand that now you more accountability is on your shoulders. I agree. But at the end of the day, it's just football. <clears throat> the thing with Rabbit that he's always had, guys, is... Hold on, I have another question. Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I, yeah. Want, I want to piggyback It's okay if you interrupt. Go ahead, it's your show. Yeah, yeah I know. Um, now, when you came into the league, who was that guy in your, in your DB room that you learned a lot from? <clears throat> Uh, from each team, you, I mean, I mean, you was with the Rams, you was with the, the Giants, I mean, now you with the Saints stuff. What guy did you learn the most from? The guy that I learned the most from, um, I would say it's two guys, um, Cortland Finnegan and Dominique Rogers Camardi. Um, uh, nah, that's my guy. Both of those guys talk yeah. me a lot. Both of those guys, I learned a lot from both of those guys. Uh, Cortland's my my young homie. He he's out of the league now, but he's got uh, smoothie bars and stuff. We got to get Cortland on the show. Uh, oh, that'd, uh, Cor- that'd, cool. that'd be good. That'd be good to get him on Cortland the show. show. Yeah, yeah, Cortland's my let's guy. Talk, let's talk about that play yeah. against Miami. <laughs> I'll get Cortland on before I leave this week. All right. <laughs> Uh, Rabbit, that's funny you said that. I never knew that. I never knew that, uh, you know, you took a, a couple of things from Cortland. But um, the thing with Rabbit, and he, you know, he doesn't brag too much. He's just real low-key dude. No. But if you talk to his friends, when he was eight, best player. He was beaten 13 years old. When he went to high school, hands down the best player. Went to college, best player. Pretty much every team he's been on, he's been the best player. But what we always see with Rabbit, his, one of his favorite sayings is, no pressure. He don't feel pressure. So you when know, they, they work this weekend and they go to uh, this playoff game, this kid has no pressure. He's out there like this is just Sunday dinner with my family. He's been able to take the game to a slow, slow level, Sean, to where, like he says, he's like, I'm just going to work on Sunday. This is easy for me. Easy. Easy money. <laughs> easy for him. And I'm always going to brag about him, but again, he's 31, 32 now. 31, 32, and still getting over 10 M's a yeah. year. That just shows you the man. You that straight dog. <laughs> Tell hey, him. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Jack Rabbit, when he <laughs> say you're getting 10 million a year, you can smile. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Talk about his loot. He don't like to talk about his loot. Like right. <laughs> yeah, no, no pressure. <laughs> no oh, pressure. Hey, man, I just keep some stuff I don't talk about. Yeah, First yeah. stuff I don't like to talk about, I just keep it where it's at. You know. Hey, you guys want to see it? It's on Google. Just go on Google. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, talk to me about Drew Brees. I mean, literally one of the legends that that ever played this game. And, you know, we had a good uh, view of him back in the day at at Purdue. And here's another guy, uh, Janoris, that everybody says he's too small. Everybody says he doesn't have the arm strength. Well, all those yards later, we're talking about a freaking legend. What, What do you see out of Drew? Man, Drew, first of all, Drew got that swag. Y'all might not see it, got but it. Drew got that swag. He got it. Like, that's the first quarterback back I ever played with, like, to where I seen, like, just come in the huddle. Not on no cocky stuff, you know what I'm saying? But you know how to walk. The way you walk, you can tell if that person knows, think he got swag. Drew Brees come in the huddle, rubbing his fang, rubbing his hands, just walking in with swag. And when he hit the field, it shows. Like he played with confidence. Like he understands the game. Like he know where everybody's gonna be on the field. Um, every day in practice, as he he could throw a curl, he could throw a comeback to the right side, but he gonna go through all his progress, progressions every time. And just every like, time. bro. I never saw this in a, a quarterback. Like, my quarterback, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect, but 
Drew Drew just he just he got more swag, more confident, and he's a great leader. You know, it's crazy that he sees that. So when I was there, he did the same thing. So he'll go through his progression. So say yeah. when he says it's a curl on the right side, he'll throw the curl, but he'll go through his second progression, his third, his fourth. Third and bridge. fake throw him. And, and, and fake throw every one. And he'll check every one yeah. to know, okay, you guys are in the right spot. It's for him, and it's also, okay, you got, all you guys are in the right spot. And um, that's a trick I learned from him that – uh, that's how he remembers a lot of the plays or a lot of the concepts uh, by doing the by doing right. that, you know. So, um, and with that sauce he said that uh, that swag he got he got the sauce. I can't lie, but he used to get me hyping. You walk, I'm telling you, man. Uh, it's it's different. Yeah. it's different, man. It, uh, Just how you walk. Hey, rabbit. So you, you got a big game on. Uh, go ahead. I tell y'all what. I tell y'all what. When we play this Sunday. Watch every time Drew Brees walk to the huddle to call the play. Watch how he walked to the huddle. Just cope, just 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 look at it, and then we'll have this conversation again after we do what we do. For sure. Mm -hmm. so, so, question: When you when you see that on the defensive side, what type of confidence do that get a defense? That build you up, man. That's your quarterback. Yeah, That's the leader of your team. That's the head honcho. So when when you see that, it's like, oh my God, we got a ball. We got a ball. We got a ball. See, that's that's the stuff that we feed off each other. Like offense feed off the defense. When defense balling, the offense yeah. is feeding off of that. We feed off each and other. And it kind of goes to tell you how a defense or a team can feel if you don't have a quarterback that you know that can help you win. Yeah. The, the 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 defense is demoralized before you kind of go into the um whole thing. <laughs> Darren's crazy. <laughs> D -Mac. Hey, Rabbit, um, today's Tuesday, so in the NFL, Tuesdays are your day off. Do you get your game plan for the game on Wednesdays, or do you guys already have your game plan? Not that you can tell us, but you guys already game planning for the game on Sunday? Oh, yeah, man. Coach, shoot them out when? Yesterday, last night. Shoot them out, shoot your text. Um, you know, nowadays we got iPads, so we use the iPads a lot. Um, yep. He shoot them out, the game plan, and we just look over until we get in on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I just don't see Trubisky testing you on Sunday, but we'll be bringing that home, that ball back home to Florida. Big facts. Hey, man. Ain't no pressure, baby. <laughs> <laughs> 440 in the afternoon, uh, Bears – and Saints getting together. And I'll tell you what, Janoris, uh, you may or may not know this. A lot of people around here hate the Packers. I'm one of those guys. Listen, I root for Satan against the Bears. So I'm definitely rooting for the Saints against the Bears. Uh, so. It's going to be a good one. And a lot of people get Appreciate to see it. your personality now. I think there are going to be some Janoris Jenkins fans around here, too. Now, we're going to take it away from football real quick. Hey, man, I hope so. When you, uh, when you initially got to the Saints... How did you like the city? How do you how do you like New Orleans? Bruh, I don't to be honest, like I'm not a guy that just like go out and I don't I don't go out like like I don't I might go out <laughs> to eat, but I don't just hang out like hang out as people would think I do. As much as people would think I I, I hang out. Yeah. Um basically bro, I just go get food, come home. Um, go to the store with my that's family, what I'm come to. home. Like that's what I'm getting the to. So what's your crazy. favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant. <clears throat> um, mine is Niyaz. Where's that? Is that in the first quarter? That's it's, it's in Mid City. Uh. Oh, okay. Bill. You coastal to like the fashion district, like by that area a little bit. I mean, I'm right in Mid City. Okay, I know where he's at. Cause my favorite spot out there was Mr. J's, right. the steakhouse. The steakhouse, yeah. I mean, <sighs> that was my I'm favorite. More like a <laughs> Chad. Tell him, Chad. I eat the regular yeah. man. I would tell him. I mean, the rabbit's so much different. It's kind of like you know, people thinking who, who who I am just from your personality. But rabbit's truly just a a homebody family man. You know, has a very small circle and you know keeps the people that he loves close to him. And 
he ain't really out for the fame. It's not something he's yeah. really always wanted. He likes to stay away from right. the fame. He likes to do his job and take care of his family and be with the people he loves. He don't really have time for, you know, people that he don't really know or don't love. He's going to spend his time with the people he loves and cares about. Respect. Talk about that. All the homies back at the crib. Huh? Uh, all the homies back at yeah, the crib. Yeah, that's it. That's huh? it. All For right, sure. man. Um, our last thing. So, do you? So, question. You have a small circle, right? Did you do anything for your circle? Like yeah. once you made it, you got the bag. Like, what do you do for your, um, like, what is it, business <laughs> together, business ventures? They got rollies. You did. I mean, what, what's going on? What, what happened? No, I gave them. I, They're the legends. I They're gave the legends. Tell the them. Training. I gave all my so boys he's got a chain, group. man. Like, a, uh huh. Like, uh, all of us grew up together. Basically, we played football all the way through college. Um, so, like, we've been close since like age six. You feel me? So it's like, um, I made it. You know what I'm saying? I'm the the one that made it. So it's, it was only right that I show my love back because when I was up, they was there. When I was down, they all was there. You feel me? So it's like. That was like my second family outside of my real family, right. my homeboy. For sure. Yeah, the, the, the closeness that I see with yeah. him and the, the, the guys is truly amazing. I mean, like brothers, even though they're not blood brothers, um, it's, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, Chad, don't be down there with us, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm allowed man. in the muck now. I'm, I'm, I'm allowed <laughs> in the muck. Ain't nobody giving me the, As a matter of fact, I'll tell yeah, them a story. The, um, they're in, like, the championship game, and me and Rabbit go down to the game, and it's halftime, and me and Rabbit, I think, are going to go get a little drink. Next thing you go, come with me. He just walks right into the locker room like he owns the whole school, owns the whole – he's the head coach. <laughs> yeah, and we walk into the halftime of the game, and uh, Rabbit just walks in there. I'm just sitting back, and that's about it. But last question I got for you, Rabbit. If we had to put $100,000 on the line and we had to run a 40-yard dash versus you and Bill Dwight Bentley, who's going to win that race, Rabbit? No Who pressure. Gonna <laughs> I'm going to win. I'm going to win. Who's going to win the 40-yard dash seven. between you and Dwight? I'm going to win. Rabbit going to win. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, Dwight. You hear that, Bill. He's going to beat you, bud. You hear Dwight. <laughs> Hey man, yeah, good. Man. Best of luck. It's a pleasure chatting with you. You, you. I mean, you. You got it figured out. No pressure. I think that's something everybody Correct. should live with. And uh, this Sunday, we'll be rooting you <laughs> on against the Bears. Best of luck, man. Tell Drew I said what up, though. I uh, appreciate it, my man. Thanks. All right, Rabbit. No I always love, love you, bud. All Tell right. Gina I love her. All right, All right Janoris Jenkins.